What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with some special Division 2 news. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But the Division Day 2023 event just ended, and we have all of the news about year five, and everything has been fully explained. We have a roadmap with incursions a new dlc and more so i hope you enjoy if you haven't already hit the thumbs up what are you waiting on now let's go now all of this news and more is coming from twitter so again follow me at kamikaze von doom for all of this and more related to the division uh universe now everything has been um released by all of the accounts I mean, every single Ubisoft account is um, sharing this. Remember the Descent game mode um, tomorrow, actually. So here is the roadmap, and we are going to fully break it down right meow. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, Daria, the community um, developer for The Division 2, made this little uh, animation so we can use this and uh, talk about it. Now... Um, year five. So we know from Morton Ryberg, the product director, that year five starts a new way of doing seasons. Um, so for every year of content, they are going to start with season one to season four. And then when the next year starts, they're going to do again season one to season four. Now for this one, they said that year five is scheduled to drop in early June. Now, there was no exact date, but it did say early June. Okay. So, in early June, we will be getting Broken Wings Season 1. So, what is that going to give us? Well, Season 1 is going to give us the Descent game mode. Now, that's the game mode that they were just pushing. We just saw the full trailer and everything like that. It, it looks to be really fun. Now, not only that, but the PTS, the public test server that they do before every update, before every season, it is PC exclusive. However, we do get to test the new season before it comes out. Therefore, we get to show you exactly what to expect for Broken Wings Season 1. So that means tomorrow... Uh, we get to test out the Descent game mode, the new gear and weapons, and new exotics coming with Year 5. We do not know anything about any of it, so tomorrow is going to be huge. If you haven't already, make sure you ring the notification bell on my channel. That way you get notified when these things drop, because we're going to have a lot of of things to talk about, a whole bunch of new content we're going to go through tomorrow. It's going to be huge. Now, what else is happening in Season 1? Well, we get the Descent game mode, but then we also start building or rebuilding the Castle Settlement. Now, while I'm talking about this, I'm sure a lot of you have already read each of these individual, you know, seasons. And as you can you know notice season one and season two we are rebuilding the castle that is where all of our story is going to take place um the black tusk uh natalia sokolova general anderson they will be trying to take over the castle settlement they want captain lewis they want barn and schaefer so they're going to try to come you know mess things up now, with that being said, it shows the castle settlement right here on fire. Um, so I don't know what that's going to signify for season two. We'll talk about that in a second. But season one and two, we will be rebuilding the castle settlement, and that will be coexisting with the season storyline. Now, also in season one, we will be getting an apparel event, and that showed the splinter cell apparel event um they showed that i'm pretty sure if i bring that up i uh i just shared the first look at that outfit so here's the descent game mode that we'll be trying out tomorrow 
So make sure, you know, you're ready for that. You know, the whole green watch and all that jazz. Um, let's see here. I know here it is, the Splinter Cell outfit. It's just going to be um, pretty much identical from the Division 1 outfit. It's just all black um, outfit with the uh, the goggles up top. And, all right, I think that is it. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that too in a second. Okay, so back to year five. So that's going to be season one. Now that's set for June, okay? Now the next one would be set around August, September time frame, and that will be season two. Now season two is um, an interesting one because that says incursion, okay? Um, whenever the presentation was going through this, they kind of skipped over that, but this says incursion. That means we are getting a mini raid in the Division 2. <laughs> I'll repeat that. The incursions from Division 1 are mini raids with four agents. So it's kind of like a raid type mechanic, but instead of eight agents, you only have four. And that's coming with season two of year five. Now, season two of year five is going to be set around August, September. And then that would lead uh, season three into the holiday season. Now, this shows for season two incursions, more castle rebuilding, which you can see by the little animation that the castle's on fire. And then it says another apparel event. Now, this leads us into season three. Season 3 is set to be released around the holidays uh, this year, 2023. Now, what does that mean? Holiday event starts every year in December. So, Season 3 would be set around December, okay? So, with that, the storyline is going to take us back to New York City. Now, this is not the point where we get the DLC or anything like that. We're not going to get anything added to New York City, but instead the manhunts are going to be in New York City, if that makes sense. So we'll get that. We'll go back to New York. We'll do the manhunts for season three in New York. We'll have the holiday event. Remember, the holiday event gives us an opportunity to pick up the Santa outfit, the Santa hat, the Santa hunter mask, the Slayer named SMG, the Chill Out named Mask, and the O. Carroll named Marksman Rifle. But like they do every year for the holiday event, expect another new exclusive item for you know the 2023 holiday event. And then it says another apparel event. Now, this is the part where people started to go crazy in our live stream earlier, right here. So season four is going to be called Black Diamond, okay? So season one, Broken Wings, we're going to be at the Castle Settlement, rebuilding. Season two, Puppeteers, we're going to be uh, defending and battling at the Castle Settlement. Season three, we are going to head back to New York City and try to flush out Natalia Sokolova. And then season four we get a story DLC, and this is the Brooklyn Bridge. Just so everyone is well aware, this is the Brooklyn Bridge. So that means we're having a story DLC in Brooklyn. That's pretty damn dope. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's really cool. Now um, it says we're also going to get it. Uh, we are also going to get seasons 2.0, so they're going to be redoing seasons in some way. I'm sure they'll tell us ahead of time, and then of course another apparel event. Now with each of these seasons, we're going to get more gear, more weapons, more exotics, the whole nine. Okay, new manhunts, new apparel events, blah 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 blah. blah. But this also signifies that by the end of year five. We're going to have a DLC. That is huge. So this time next year, we're going to have a Division 2 DLC. That's crazy. For all of those saying this game is dead, this is a clear indicator that you're wrong. 
that not only is this game not dead, but it's going to have at least a year or two more uh, lifespan added to this game. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. But this is your year five roadmap completely explained. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We will be playing the Descent game mode tomorrow, so all of those questions will be answered tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, hit that thumbs up. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. And again, for all of this, before I make a video, just follow me on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom. And uh, yeah, that's it, everyone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the video with this uh, little Descent trailer, and then we'll get out of here. All right, here we go. Here is the Descent trailer. Let the sickness take them! The Division trained you to operate at your limits. This simulation will push you beyond them. But I'm confident in your abilities. Suit up, agents. It's time to see what you're capable of.